Hey guys, it's SF and it's time for the 25th floor of the tower and my team is going to be Basilisk, Surtur and another Basilisk. Uh, this Basilisk is the Evolve version and my friend is going to be an Apollo, the Evolve form of Apollo. Let's do this. It's going to be a little bit long, I guess, a little bit rough, but the main thing about this dungeon is fixed damage. And fixed damage meaning poison or knockups. And uh, all these, most of these monsters will have really high defense. So bump combos will not, will only deal one damage basically. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. The boss as well will only be dealt one damage so you need poison or uh, knockups so all the scorpions even if you use like homing piercers to take them down it still deals one damage but these guys have like over like 70,000 HP so it's gonna be pretty much impossible to get 70,000 uh, hits onto these guys before you die That's why poison is a must. The best, one of the best, let's say, best monster is Udi. Udi, her strike shot is a knockup, of course, and and it deals like two million damage if you get a max, if you are at max HP. That is good. And boom, there we go. Okay, second floor. Uh, everybody but the mech bird has, uh, has high defense. Even the knights have high defense. But basically hit Basilisk or Surtur and they will die off pretty easily. Next up is this Basilisk. But Basilisk is probably the best farmable monster. Well, the monster with the best highest poison damage. And next is probably Rakasha. Rakshaka? Rakshaka, I think. Okay, mini boss. Uh, basically, keep on poisoning him at all times. He does have pretty high HP and somehow I missed with Basilisk. Sad thing is that it is the closest enemy for the mist. Okay, there goes the minions. The mini boss doesn't do that much damage as long as you stay away from him. But keep on poisoning him. The poison only lasts for two turns and... And yeah, basically it lasts for two turns. And there's always the strongest poison overrides the... Uh, gets intact. So Apollo's poison only does 15,000 per turn. Whereas Basilisk does 75,000. So... If Apollo gets if Apollo's bomb combo hits the boss first, it'll of course poison it. But if Basilisk hits it afterwards, then it will stick. Uh, it will override it to seventy five thousand. But if Basilisk poisons first and then Apollo poisons later, the Basilisk original seventy five k will stick. So it overrides if it's the highest. Uh. Second mini boss.
I'm going to keep Basilisk around this area. Save the heart for... What you call it? For healing? For gold heart? Okay. And there's the gold heart. Going straight at it. Almost there. But it's basically a long grind. The monsters don't really do that much. That should end the scorpion or the boss. Oh, I should have used Noko, uh, whatever. That's fine. But I kind of wanted a Blast Monster just because of. I want to proc Basilis turn at uh, Basilis at uh, Bomb Combo pretty much every single turn that I can. Okay, boss, same deal with this boss. Only poison will affect him for most of it. Now, the boss does have a weak spot, and if. Any attacks attacks the weak spot, they'll do some damage. That's over one. But I'm not really sure how it actually works that way. But I've last time I did this, I used Arthur. See, uh, he just bounced on the weak spot and it did, did some damage. This should finish Dong Zhao. And I want to heal up. I will stall one turn just to get the gold heart. Actually, it should be two turns. Because of the poison. Okay. I'm not sure it will finish. No, it didn't. But there's a gold heart for Surtur. That's awesome. Okay, next phase. I might be using some strike shots soon. But I'll see how it goes. Thank God for Apollo's. My friend Apollo has a cutthroat to speed this up a little bit faster. Let's try out the weak spot. Yeah, it deals some damage, but not a lot. And... So your main form of attack is bump combos, like poison bump combos and knockups. So Nanami is also good, uh, Uri is the best, and of course Basilisk is also a knockup. I'll use that on the... Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. And there's a heart for me. And there goes that stage. 
Okay, last. Almost last. Okay. The obstructors take normal damage, if you haven't noticed. Okay, last phase. Bump combo, I mean, knock up. Oh, it's not a knock up, it's a laser. Oh my god. That's just my bad and not remembering monsters strike shots. That is not good. I should be okay as long as I get the heart. I'll just go get the heart. I won't be using Apollo's strike shot. Just keep stacking up the poison on him and he'll eventually die. And I didn't finish. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna grab the heart just in case. Grab the heart. And stack up the poison. Why not? There's no really much point. There's your weak spots and... Keep stacking. Hoo hoo. Let's try to finish it off with this. There we go. But that's pretty much clear. Uh, Basilisk is probably the best monster you can get for this dungeon. He deals with the gimmicks. He is a poison. He has a poison bomb combo for it. Uh, Udi can probably blow up two or even the whole bar if you have a full HP. But yeah. There's a lot of other ones like uh, Himiko's Ascension is also good. Uh, Hera's ev Evolution is also good. And Nanami's uh, Knockup. And then some really powerful Knockup monsters. Uh, armor, uh, Sky Armor, and Hercules. Heracles is also good. But that's it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.